Alrighty, and here we have the art for Tomariseto. Oh, I like this this hairstyle. <laughs> and we have the art for Masanori Izeki, which this guy, well, without glasses, I don't like it. But with glasses, the guy seems cool. <laughs> and we have... So the, here they talk about the festival collection, the reprint. So these cards from the trial decks are going to be reprinted. And six of them are going to be SP cards that can be arranged to form a complete friendless illustration like you can see here. And they're doing this with every single deck, I believe. I think in the next weekly bites they show the other ones. This is pretty cool though. though. You can you just buy the four SPs, you buy a um, what is it called a, a picture frame, and you frame them. Put it in your wall. Don't use those cards. Put them in your wall. <laughs> oh, it, it will look cool though. Don't misunderstand me. It's gonna be cool. I might do it if I'm not playing the deck, and if I'm able to get them. I'm gonna probably buy a few boxes of festival collection depending on stuff I don't know what decks to build yet but I need to try them out but I'm really looking forward for the first booster bots because the first effect they um, they showed is pretty good so I want to see the rest let's see what other effect uh, Dragon Empire is gonna get so yeah I, I would love to see an effect like ninja related and if I really like it god damn it that's gonna be my main because <laughs> I played ninjas and I want to keep at it <laughs> um, then here we have that the special series one comes out on the 15th of, uh, of, of May all right on this date all right <laughs> And then we have a look at the Kitter Sanctuary, I believe, cards. So we start with the grade one. Oh, damn it. Let me drink some tea. <coughs> God, it went to the wrong side. All right. When this unit fort. When this unit is rode upon by Knight of Heavenly Spear Rooks, by re 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 revealing two grade two, three cards from hand, reveal the top card of your deck and call it if it's a unit card. And counter blast one and choose one of your grade three vanguards and gains power 5k for that turn. I believe this deck is the one that relies on heavily on grade trees. One thing that I like on this and that they are doing with the uh, Dragon Empire 2, I think in the next weekly bites or something they show it, it's the when this unit is ruled upon by another unit. This is like the ride chains on the original Vanguard. I loved ride chains. I had a deck, coral deck with the ride chain because I loved it so much. I love ride chains. <laughs> I can't say this enough. I love ride chains. It might like F it a little bit because of the, 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 the ride deck. Because the ride chains, you were always like trying to get the next card, to get the effect off, and everything. This just makes it like always up. But, and let's see, yeah. But I, I love, I love it. I love ride chains. And I love they're doing this. So, <laughs> but with this, they're basically telling you these are the cards you want in your ride deck, basically. So let's go. This is Rooks, the one that needs to ride upon Fort, which reads when this unit is ruled upon by Apex Ruler Bastion, which is the Great Tree, reveal three Great Tree cards from your hand and draw a card. If you have three or more Great Trees, this unit gains boost and power five plus 5k. With this card, and if you get more Great Twos on this deck uh, that get boost, this basically means that you don't really need Great Ones. Like, you need this one on your right deck, sure, but if you read it, like, reveal the top, uh, reveal two grade three cards from your hand, and this one reveal three grade three cards from your hand, you want to have a large amount of grade trees. 
And if we get great trees with a boost, that's even better. And then we go to the great tree and it's like Apex Ruler Bastion during your turn, all of your great tree units get power plus 2k. At the end of the battle, let your drive check reveal the great tree, discard a card from your hand, choose one of your rear guards, stand it, and it gets power plus 10k for that turn. So you have two drive checks. And you kinda want triggers there. But with this card, and in this deck, you will want a lot of great trees. This is like, you remember the if you watch the show from the beginning, and you remember the, the meme the meme from that guy that only played great trees? I don't remember what was his name. Alright, I don't remember. But there was a guy that only played with like a million great trees in his deck, because for him, great trees were the strongest cards, so he had a bunch of them in deck. Well, now he has this, will he play this? Would he play this? I, I think he would, because this deck's basically around great trees, and you want a shitload of them in your deck. So, let's see how it works, but if we get more grade twos with boost, and maybe grade threes with boost, since grade twos and grade ones have the same shield value, like... You don't really need anything else. You basically do a deck with only great threes and great twos, because you have your the great one you only need in your right deck. So let's see. This like reveal the top cover deck and call it if it's a unit card. It's a bit like Gold Paladin. I liked Gold Paladin, but I didn't like when you only reveal like one card. I liked when you could like see three, four, five and choose one. Like top card you can just get a trigger or something you don't really need one on the field. Or like a grade, a grade one perfect card or something like that and you don't want that on the field. So I don't like this too much so I haven't tried this yet. But if I went, went to play this deck I think I would only run one grade one. Uh, well, this one on the right uh, on the right deck, and the, the grade one perfect card is a grade one. Unless there's like another grade one with a really good effect that you like look at it and say, yeah, I have to run this. And then we jump into the Sylvan Horn Beast Cherry. So we went uh, went into the Sylvan King Stoikea thing. Which this one reads when this unit is ruled upon by Sylvan Horn Beast Lettuce, another right chain effect thingy. Reveal the top card of your deck, call it if it's grade two or less unit. If it isn't, put it into your soul. So this is another reveal the top card and call it if it's grade two or less. The other one is any card, this one is grade two or less. So grade zero, one and two. And if it is not a unit, an order card in this uh, specific thing now. Put in your soul, or if it is a great t great tree. Ugh, my voice. And during the battle, uh, battle that this unit attack from the back row, this unit gets power five k. So this deck revolves around a lot of attacks from front and back row. That's basically it. And then we have Sylvan Horn Beast Lattice, which is great too. When this unit is ruled upon by Sylvan Horn Beast. King Magnolia, which is grade 3, Soul Blast 1 and reveal the top card of your deck, call it if it's a unit, if it isn't, add it to your hand, so if it is a, uh, I just said what, uh, the order, if it is an order card you put it in your hand, if it is a unit you put it on the field, because as of right now we don't have anything else that is not a unit that isn't a order card, and when this card attacks the vanguard from the back row, Soul Blast 1 and this unit gets plus 10k. For that battle so it's a 20k beater from the back row pretty cool this one is a 13k beater from the back row if you want and because they have back row specific effects yeah and then this is sylvan horn beast king magnolia at the end of the battle this unit attack counter blast one choose one of your rear guards and for that turn that unit can attack from the back row and gets power 5k and then the better part, if you Persona Road, choose three rear guards instead of one. So if you use your Persona Road this turn, you can choose all of your back row guys, and they all can attack. 
Uh, these two decks don't have a keyword, as you might have seen. The other ones have, these ones don't have yet yet. I don't know, these might only come in booster booster pack or something like that, but we will see. They're probably saving it or they are just showing that you can get can have cards that don't have like the specific keyword of like the the region yet and everything so yeah i guess this is all of it for this one because oh no we have this regarding the available rarities in booster pack one genesis of the five grades you we have a new one which is an orr it's probably just an higher well it's between r and double r and I don't really know. All right, over double rare, a, sp a special rarity for over triggers. All right, so it's a rarity just for over triggers. All right, will be available in this new special rarity ORR. Well, let's see how it looks when if we get one. <laughs> and oh, you will definitely get one of the five types from buying a box. So if you get a box, you get at least one over trigger. So that's pretty cool. Oh wait, it's one copy per display. God damn it. You can still get it in normal rarity, but these ones are probably gonna be more expensive then. Yeah. But normal rarity is fine for me. <laughs> for now, I guess. Alright, and you have Genesis of the Five Rings coming out of the 21st. Oh, fifth. Uh, so. May 31st of May and I guess that's all on this one so I guess I'm gonna jump to the second to the last one I believe well it's not this uh yeah I have two more to do let's see let's do it all right guess bye all right I guess this is the end I hope you liked it and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to get the notification for the next one. And if you want to come by when I'm live, don't forget to follow the stream down below. So you get that notification too. And I guess that's it. Have the rest of a nice day. <laughs>